What is up guys, Zan from Zan Mountain YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna talk about preloading your escape artist and why it is key to your pocket presence in Madden 21. But before we get into the video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys wanna take your game to the next level in Madden 21, check out my strategy site, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron Game Plans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our Vault Update, we take a look at the meta of the most effective tactics available being used by pro players on the MCS circuit, breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counter those metas when you face them in online gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every offensive and defensive game plan released on the website while your subscription is active. So head over to gridirongameplans.gg, $9.95 per month unlocks the entire website and if you guys are watching this today, the day it was uploaded, May the 18th, 2021, I just uploaded the vault with a four part vault update on how to get four route techs on your Mutt team for four AP. It is absolutely bananas. I'm telling you, this is going to be the way that everybody sets up their offense moving forward. It is absolutely insane. Well worth the price of the website on its own for that vault update. But again, you will unlock everything on the website. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into today's video. We're going to be talking about how to preload the escape artist. This is actually a really simple tip. This is something you should be doing if you have an escape artist quarterback. At this point in the year, I think everybody pretty much does. Uh, this is a pocket presence tip, but it's also um, something that I think uh, tinfoil hat on right now. I think that when you do this, actually, it kind of makes block shedding a little bit um, less effective. It's kind of kind of weird how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of explain what preloading your escape artist is. So I'm just going to come out in random plays. Sometimes it's going to be a blitz and I'm going to get sacked. Other times it'll just be a base rush. Preloading your escape artist means when you snap the ball, while the ball is coming back in a shotgun set to your quarterback or under center, this works under center as well, you're going to hold the right trigger. This is better than holding the right trigger uh, after the snap when the quarterback has already received the ball. Now, hear me out on this. How many times have you played this game over the last probably 10 years where when you hold the right trigger behind the line of scrimmage, whether it be with a quarterback or a running back receiving a handoff, that defensive lineman automatically shed. As soon as you press that right trigger, it seems like clockwork. It's pretty crazy how it just seems to, to cause guys to shed. Now, it's not every single time, but the shed odds seem to go through the roof. Um, I go back, I wanna say to Madden 09. If you guys remember Madden 09, there used to be uh, forums for the Gamers Lab, which is no longer a website anymore. But back in the forum era, Madden 09, I want to say, uh, whichever year it was that Larry Fitzgerald and Troy Polamalu shared uh, the cover together, that might have been Madden 10, I don't remember off the top of my head, but that year that they shared the cover, uh, the game actually was pirated. Uh, the people that wrote the Prima Guide uh, well before Gibbs and Farrells ever wrote it, um, uploaded it onto a pirating website, and um, basically it was available to be you know, installed on modified consoles. And when they did that, I remember there being a thread on a forum that determined back then, and I don't know if this is still true now, but I kind of feel like it is, that there was a, um, a modified boost to block shed ratings when the quarterback went into scramble mode. Now, escape artists and things like that didn't exist back then, but it was something that they found in the lines of code in the game. Again, I don't know if that is still in the game all these years later, 10 plus years later, but it was back then and they found that in the coding. Now, all I can go by now is what I feel. And we all play the game enough at this point that when you have a good idea that something is the way it is, it, you're probably not having a situation where your eyes are just deceiving you, you're probably feeling the right things. We know that we, when we hand the ball off to the running back and you hold turbo behind the line of scrimmage, defensive linemen tend to auto shed. The same is true, in my opinion, with scrambling. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna snap the ball and then I'm going to hold the right trigger late. And I want you to watch how the, the defensive linemen do. So I'm now gonna hold the right trigger. And you see, when I do this, they start to, they start to automatically shed. Now, you know, they didn't shed quickly in that. Some plays, like I said, are going to be, you know, quicker than others. But I'm going to snap the ball again. 
and this is a blitz. I'm just going to go ahead and just get down here. Um, but I'm going to try to hold right trigger after the snap. And I want to see if it causes guys to disengage. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it now. And you see how guys shed as soon as I go into my escape artist mode. And part of the problem is as well, is that when you go to hold the right trigger to scramble, your quarterback actually takes muddy footsteps, no matter who they are. Lamar Jackson is the best of the best. He has the best locomotion. He's the cover boy of the game. Um, they make him feel like the fastest quarterback in the game because he is. But that doesn't stop the muddy steps that I'm talking about. So when you go to scramble, you'll notice that there's kind of like this sliding, this foot planting that occurs with your quarterback's feet when you go to hold the right trigger. And he kind of like slides in place and steps back to plant and run forward. And like I said, his sliding and, you know, uh, muddy steps as I call them are still faster than anybody else in the game, but it does happen. And as soon as this happens, guys just automatically shed. You see 70 sheds. You see that the, the pursuit angle 94 begins to, he disengages. There's just disengage logic that occurs when you go to hold right trigger and move with your quarterback. Now, you know, we've had some pretty pretty solid pockets, but these muddy steps do tend to occur when when as soon as you hit that right trigger. Now, I'm I'm doing drastic movements. Lamar can still escape from these guys. But let's go ahead and get it into what preloading is. So, like I said, preloading is a tip in which you hold the right trigger while the ball is in route to your quarterback in shotgun uh and right away as you're playing under center and you don't actually do anything. You just stand there in the pocket, do not move. So I'm gonna go ahead and just call, um, let's go ahead and call like hitch corners or uh, not a play where the, the running back runs through the line. Let's call it like deep curl. And I'm gonna go with just a regular base rush. Uh, let's go with like a wide nine, you know, a, a three man pass or a four man pass rush. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna snap the ball and I'm gonna hold the right trigger and I'm not gonna touch the analog stick at all. And what this will do is it preloads my scramble. So that way it gets rid of the muddy footsteps, the sliding, he'll accelerate a lot faster and just go. The escape artist feels faster. And I also theorize, but again, it's it's more of an eye test, I you know, that the guys won't disengage or when they do, they don't have enough time to actually disengage or shed because he moves faster when he goes to accelerate. That muddy footstep doesn't give the disengage animation time to shed and then make a play on the quarterback. So he basically fires out of a cannon when he goes to escape. And I also kind of feel like because I'm preloading the right trigger, uh, that that timer, since I'm doing it before he gets the ball, it's not causing the guys to shed right away. I feel like I have more time in the pocket, but that's just a me thing. So I'm holding the right trigger. You're gonna see right here that they just kind of sit there. And when I go to run, you see how quick he he, he escapes on this play? Now, I know that I have uh, Ronnie Stanley over there on the left. I'm gonna go ahead and pull him out of the game. And I know that Orlando Brown is also really good as well. I'm gonna put just Joe Schmoes there at tackle, um, you know, to kind of finish up my thoughts on this. Uh, so I'm gonna put Fluker in and I'm gonna put, uh, let's go ahead and put Andre Smith. So, uh, there's my guys that we're going to put in and I'm just going to go up against, you know, a front three rush. I know that the, the Bengals aren't the most talented pass rush uh, team in the world, but they do have Carl Lawson. They've got an advantage now over the guys that are blocking them. So I hit a, and then I immediately hold right trigger and I don't, I don't touch the, le uh, the left stick. So I'm holding right trigger and they're not shedding. They're not shedding. And then when they go to shed, you could just escape. You're like out. There's no muddy step. And part of the problem with this year's game is that you know, sheds happen so quick that by the time you diagnose them and then you go to tap the right trigger and escape, that muddy step gets you sacked. So I'm going to not preload it here and I'm going to wait for a shed. You see how he had that muddy step and he had to like wait. So as soon as I saw it, as soon as I could process it, I, I went to scramble and that muddy step allowed Marcus Hunt to, to get my quarterback. So you see right here, I'm, I'm, I'm not holding it. And then he goes and he does this animation. As soon as he gets off this, I go to escape artist and you see, boom, you get those, those little pitter patter steps. Now let's go ahead and preload it and wait for the same thing. Preloading. I saw him beat his man and I was able to relocate. I know this seems like not a big deal to some people out there, um, but, but this is going to make your pocket game a lot better. Again, preloading, holding the right trigger as the ball came back. 
right there, Carl Lawson was able to, to get a, uh, to get that animation pretty well. He was pretty, he was on top of my quarterback when he shed him. All right, preloading again. That time I, I tried that reverse spin away from him. Uh, on the edge, reverse spinning into the guy that uh, the direction he's shedding is worse. Always step up in the pocket. Preloading. Here we go. Off his, off his animation. You see how quick I was able to get out? There was like no wasted foot movement. And I was able to, you know, avoid that, that D-tackle disengage. This is what I'm talking about. This is a really good example, right? So because I'm preloading and I see the speed rush win animation around the left edge. If I'm not preloading right here, I could still step up and escape artist away from the guy by running up. But the disengage that occurs right here as soon as my guy goes to move, see him split that double team instantly. If I had the muddy step associated with not preloading this, I would end up with me getting away from the left edge. But then because I'm taking those muddy steps, the guy that splits the double team as I go to escape artist is most likely going to wrap me up because again, I'd be doing the the little like two or three foot pitter patter. You see right here, this is just, we just run straight forward. There's no wasted movement backwards. So there's a big difference between what we saw at the beginning of the video and what we see right here in terms of the foot movement. It's a big difference. So this is what preloading is guys. It's, it's a big deal. It really is a big deal. And to me, always try, I mean, obviously the edge animations are tougher to get away from faster guys in general, but scramble up. A scramble up through the B gaps and, and the A gaps. You're gonna see here that they just can't, they can't react to you as you scramble up. Uh, this is something I've been doing. This is why I use Lamar in uh, Madden Ultimate Team still, running the spread offense that I run. It is a big, big deal. So small tip that makes a big difference for you guys, no matter what offense you run, this will work under center as well. Um, so if you guys like to run, you know, some of that wing tight stuff, uh, definitely feel free to, you know, mix that in. Again, guys, if you like the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys are notified when I uh, upload every single day. Um, and also check out gridirongameplans.gg. Again, guys, four route techs for four AP. Gotta go check it out. Really, really solid tip this week in the vault. Go check, go check it out. If not, we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow with our next video upload. Until then, this is Ann. Get in the lab and good luck.